Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. As North America's favorite game fish, largemouth bass are one of those species you can enjoy on your own terms. From a fully equipped bass boat, all the way down to the very simplest of huckleberry fin tackle. One thing that remains constant is that largemouth have a real thing for worms. Though seldom entering the picture in the places they live, it's that long, slender shape that attracts more fish than any other bait. It may stem from a resemblance to some other common food source. Then again, largemouth are opportunistic feeders and will eat anything that moves and appears vulnerable. Worm imitations have, in fact, been around a good long time. Presently, and vastly improved over those old rubber jobs, there are many thousands of variations. The very best are organic in composition. Largemouth down these like real food. Of the many ways to rig worms, hooking them wacky style is particularly effective. While some hit on the drop, it's the added action you impart that makes all the difference. Try setting them up with a drop shot for even greater control. Remember, it's that extra movement that triggers big largemouth. The drawback to all worm fishing is they eventually split. Hold on to those pieces though. Some of the heaviest bass we've ever caught actually preferred a smaller bait. After 25 years of underwater filming, you might say we've learned a thing or two. More than anything else, it's the fine line between success and failure when getting fish to bite. While some species are more finicky than others, few compare with the moodiness of largemouth bass. When it comes to tossing hard baits for these fish, you really have to keep an open mind and try all the established tricks. This past season, we conducted an intense study on largemouth behavior. We visited several locations on the Trent Canal system in Ontario. Accessible, heavily fished, and highly fertile, we concentrated our efforts in weedy, sheltered back bays. Choosing the best of the best, a sabile jointed minnow, we bent down the hooks. What we learned is that subtle changes in action make all the difference in the world. When largemouth just look or follow, stop and give it that extra punch to trigger a strike. What we also realized is the value of making multiple casts to the same place. Start with a bold statement, then slow it down, or stop altogether. Try everything imaginable before moving on. Fact is, most of us choose hard baits and cranks to cover water in a hurry. In reality, these products just might have their greatest value as a finesse bait. From a fisheye perspective, there are many great techniques for bass that actually work. With so many proven methods, you never see them combined to do it up one better. For example, here we have a marriage between a drop shot and wacky rig. A bit unorthodox, perhaps, but the level of control is truly amazing. And whoever claimed you need a proper drop shot weight, something fish can't eat anyhow. On the same note, few anglers increase their odds by doubling up on baits. It may look strange, but take it from us, this setup really appeals to the greed factor in fish. And don't be afraid to go a bit crazy here while experimenting with your own custom combinations. Taking it further, improve on traditional lures by dressing them up with a piece of soft bait. There's no question that bit of scent will draw fish in and guarantee they hold on. Speaking of surface lures, it's a simple matter to use any soft bait to do the job. With sinking versions, rig them with a floating jig head. If the topwater bite turns off, fill any standard surface lure with water to sink it down. On the subject of soft baits, customize them fearlessly by trimming things to suit a demanding situation. Bottom line is, do it your own way. And remember, there are no set rules in fishing.